Hello guys, and welcome to episode 59 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough, playing as Grom the Paunch, leading the Broken Axe to world domination. Today we're going to be continuing with our movement of Turg and Oglok after taking Phyrus with Skarsnik. Uh, Turg, we're going to have head towards Zandri. It looks like it might already be under siege, so we'll go see who's there. And Oglok, I might just have come get on land over here next to virus for now that will do maybe i could have gone and picked up the treasure but I'm not too concerned about that if i'm completely honest all right so yeah gorky was chilling up here go down to Ragnik. so Ragnik is heading towards mount silver spare nice and fast and we got vicious throat cruncher following up as well I can have Blorg move round here and help by killing a few of those preemptively. We got Thogger who see are they in range to take anything? No. But these two are ready to go. We could certainly take Black Crag quite easily. Take that back. I could, however, go and attack Valaya's Sorrow, though, because they are building a couple this of armies here. Dorgrim's army is pretty nice, though. Hammerers, Ironbreakers, Bogrim's Rages. No. No. Garrus is not very big. Not likely. So I think if we had Thogger move down and reinforce a battle here, I think we'd be okay to take that on. But I think I'm going to do that, and we'll have Sozpug on his own take Blackrag. Disgrace my ancestors. And then what we're going to do once we get in there is probably replace him. Alright, let's play this out. I also need to make sure that I get some shamans in these armies because they don't have any magic. But I'm hoping my arrows can kill quite a few of those iron breakers before we actually engage them in melee. And I guess we'll have to rely on the uh, the Goblin Rock Lovers a little bit as well. I'll take out the towers on the left and then we'll push in from there. Alright, let's just uh, shift a lot of this stuff back. Alright, start the battle. Have those attack there. We're going to move these up slightly on the side. Get them out of the way of the catapults. Yeah, that one went straight into that Arachnorok spider. Okay, we'll move these over as well. Wow, that actually killed a lot of those. Killed four of them. Really? Okay, we're just going to speed things up as these do their job. We'll take out that right tower as well. I do not know why they need to move over there. That's really weird. Okay. Well, I'm going to move towards the night goblins anyway now. We'll start engaging the Oralers there. I'm going to have these go and knock down the gate. I'll have my lord go and do the same thing. And I guess we might as well just start charging up the walls with the Black Orcs, honestly. Yeah, I do want to take out the Quarrelers on the wall there if I can. Shouldn't take me too long. I'd really like these to shoot the tower. Make my life a little bit easier. See how quickly we kill these. A few volleys should take care of them. Easy peasy. Probably take out the thunderers there as well. I'm going to move these forwards. And we're going to engage the long bears now. Because they've got their backs to us. 
So that will save me some kills on my Black Ox. These are very well armored though. Chunking them down slowly but surely. We did break down the gatehouse. Uh, letting the iron breakers attack those is probably fine, but we'll go in anyway. Black orcs are up. They're going to start chopping up these long beards. Oh, that means I'm going to change my targeting. So these quarrelers up on top of the gate there. Gotta be careful of the thunderers actually lining up and shooting down onto my Arachnorok spiders. That could be really bad. So let's target those instead, maybe. I'm kind of like I'm in an hour in about whether or not I actually want to right, right click on them because. And now my Black Ox are engaged on the walls, so we should be fine anyway. Okay. Uh, there is a unit back there of Iron Breakers, so what I'm going to do is we're going to shift the catapults forwards and start firing at those. That'd be a much better target. But the Black Orcs are doing fantastically well in these engagements. It looks like the Iraq Orc Spiders aren't doing too bad either. The armor piercing really, really paying off on these guys. Might have to move forwards even a bit more there. I'm surprised these Thunderers are still firing. I like firing a few shots down at my catapult. Bonk. Oh, with these moving further in, they're getting a little bit surrounded. Uh, we're going to want to get some of these Black Orcs off the walls, I think. I got some shots going in over there, that's good. Alright, let's charge in. My Raptor Rock Spiders are definitely suffering. A wah wah in combat. Honestly, I don't really mind if I lose my Ragnarok spiders in this battle because I'm going to replace them. Well, yeah, we'll probably replace them anyway because of the uh, unit ranks being a bit low. <laughs> my lord's doing a runner. Okay, push on in, that spider's going nowhere, we're going to get in here with our cavalry. Oh, one of my black orcs actually got taken out there. Oh, 
Oh, Savage Orc, poor boy, Biggins. That's it, that's victory. I do kind of like how, like, in Dwarven Settlements, generally they have most of their units near the walls. So it doesn't take as long to do the battles. They don't leave loads of stuff in the center like some of the other factions do. I love the way his name's Harrock Get Gold. <laughs> I just realized that. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, occupy Black Crag. Thank you very much. The fact that he's in Black Crag and it's got a gold mine as well makes it even better. Um, we will replace this dude. I'm just going to level him up. Um, but we're going to replace him. So, let's go into this. Replace him with something. What can we give? Tough, serial dancer, aggressive, weapon master. I guess we could give it another like orc war boss, that's fine. Good old Gogrut Brain Basher. You can go Root Marcher. Uh, Ravager. Raider, Ironheart, Lightning Strike. Out Cleverin and Renown of Beard. Uh, we'll put him on a Wyvern. Uh, actually, it doesn't need to be immortal. Alright, let's just do that again. Okay, so Wyvern, and then we do Inspiring Presence. We've got Orc Infantry and Big Deeds. So Orc Units and Big Deeds, and then Smash them Faster. We'll go Choppers, it's kind of Veteran, Bow Seeker, Windmaker, Hard to Hit, Deadly Onslaught. I think we'll do Deadly Blade and Thick Skin. Alright. Cool. That's much better. Now we can replace the Black Orcs. We can actually recruit some stuff here at like rank 8. It might be worth thinking about getting some of those in the army. Maybe some biggins. Not sure. I mean, even the Orc Boar Boys aren't bad. Like, the Savage Orc Boar Boys here are probably a little bit worse. Like, the Orc Boar Boys having the armor there is actually really nice. A little bit less weapon strength, though. The rest doesn't really matter. I think I'm going to boot these. I'm going to put a couple of these in. And I'm kind of tempted to put a couple of these goblin archers in as well because they're such high unit rank. And what we'll do is replace these. I, mean, I think we already replaced them, but I'm going to do that again. And we'll get rid of these. And put them in. Uh, I'm going to take these spiders out. I'm going to put in another unit of black orcs. And then maybe a couple of giants. Something like that. Because then it's ready to go next turn. Uh, what about the catapults? Oh yeah, we might as well do those as well. We're pretty much just rebuilding that army from scratch. I'll take that out. Actually, I need to leave that in there since we're recruiting from the local recruitment. Yeah, we'll leave those where they are. We've got the hag hut here. Uh, that means I can probably recruit a hag for the army. Yeah, we'll do that.
let's go for disciplined. Good. Scafag also needs a mage, I think. Although, actually, he's a goblin great shaman, so never mind. Never mind. So that'll be ready to go soon. Let's get Scafag and we'll attack Vallejo Sorrow. It's going to be a decisive victory with very low casualties. I might just order resolve it. Nope, oh, never mind. We'll lose things. Mm, saying that, do I really matter? Does it really matter? I mean, it's Scafag's army, so I yeah, will play it out. I think it'll be fun. We got quite a lot of like cavalry. A lot of the Savage Orc Ball Boy Biggins again. I'm going to be able to encircle this quite quickly. I'm going to have those in one group. There's in another. And yeah, loads and loads of these units. Put those in like a second group with these. These are going to be like my chariots. Cool. So these are spiky roller ones. Interesting. I start the deployment, start the battle. Just gonna chill for a bit, wait for my reinforcements to arrive. My goblin army. Do have some catapults here, so I mean, maybe we could force them to come to us. I think I'll probably make one big group initially, and then I'll divvy that up into separate groups again. Because I don't want to have to manually order all of these units. Well, this is quite the array of units. Lots and lots of different types. You've got the Black Orcs there, Savage Orcs. they got the Goblins in between as well. I really love the way that, like, when you look at, when you zoom in on uh, green skin units running together, they do look like a, like a war, like a, like a, like a green tide of forces charging towards their enemy. It's actually fantastic. Okay. How is my artillery doing? It's nearly here. We will charge at them, I just want to get some shots off first. Probably going to want to target the hammerers. If I could get them away from the edge of the map there, that would be nice. Well, not that it really matters. It only really matters for us. Like, if they run off the map, it's good. If we run off the map, it's obviously really bad. I don't expect we'll be in a position where that's going to be the case. Uh, let's just make sure that one of these are now in a separate group. Ready to charge. Put one of these in a group. And on guard. All these on a group. Okay. Well, here goes nothing, I suppose. Charge! <laughs> Let's grab my Savage Orc Ball Boys, put them around on the flank. Uh, we'll throw the Erect Rock Spider in here. And then these can go around to the other side. Uh, 
the troll vanguard pushing in smash absolutely demolished and the follow up meanwhile a wheel around but I'm not really sure they're going to last too long if I'm completely honest I just ran through that unit. Let's get these involved. Get the wild go in. Charge that down with the wolf chariots. Lovely. They are utterly surrounded. Kill off those pigmen's ranges. We can kill off that quarrelly unit. These kill off those. Great. Thorgrim should actually be an easy target for my archers, so we'll just tell them all to fire at him. Only thing is, I think he does have quite a lot of missile resistance. Yeah. Well, we're actually, like, killing our own guys. Much worse. <laughs> my poor trolls took a bunch of arrows to the face of the... Oh, we're really doing no damage to him, wow. That's crazy. Alright, well, we'll take the victory. He's not unbreakable, so that's nice. Yeah, I really expected him to take more damage there from the archers, but it's not... that's going to give us Valea Sorrow and I'm probably going to use the settlement to re-recruit another army so we'll occupy that thank you very much we get extra research rate and minus construction costs in the local province yay <laughs> such a terrible bonus I mean research rate's nice if you get it early on but at this point when I've pretty much researched everything yeah, no thanks. Right, so we're going to switch out this Goblin Great Shaman. I'm probably just going to switch him out with another one. With another Goblin Great Shaman. Let's just leave him up, level him up first so he doesn't ask me to do that later. And yeah, we'll probably put in the Serial Dancer because that will give us frenzy for the Arachnoid Spider that I'm going to put him on. All right. I'm kind of tempted to do like death from below rather than raider and ravager now because I don't really sack settlements anymore because I have so much money. I'll just click through one of these. Uh, do we have a goblin army here? Mm, not really. I don't really need Goblin Tide, although I guess Goblin Tide would be useful if we were going to use Archers. I mean, it is a nice bonus, regardless. But we'll do... The boys again. I might make this a army that focuses on the pump wagons. So that would give the extra speed and charge bonus for them. Uh, this Oh, this is specifically for pump wagons. 
Extra armor for chariots and pump wagons. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that's like a separate thing. Hmm. In 12 armor, is that worth three points? Probably not, right? We'll do this and this. So that will be pump wagons, sneaky stabbers, and ard lads, and then smash them faster. Cool. We'll max out Curse of the Bad Moon. And last point. Maybe I could put it into Dagobos as well. Extra ammunition for the missile units, because I'm probably going to keep some missile units. I think the plan here is get rid of these. I'm probably going to get rid of, like I said, the whole army, but we're going to put pump wagons in. So we'll have... Let's just disband the whole thing, because we're going to replace it all. Okay, um... I'm going to use a couple Goblin Rock Lovers. We're going to have Flappers, Spiky Rollers, and maybe I could just put like normal Goblin Archers in. Take some of the local recruitment. And that would allow me to put in like, some Black Orcs for the front line. I would like to have these as fanatics though, but I don't really have enough space in the global recruitment. Which is something I never thought I'd say. <laughs> we'll do that for now, that's fine. I mean, this is probably just going to be a, a supporting army anyway for uh, Thogger. Alright, we can now move on. Let's see what's next. Over to Masha. So Masha, I guess, is taking Karazakarak. We do have Ashuk here. He's probably better suited to do that, though. I'm not sure if we'll need two armies to do this. Like, I'm pretty sure that my Black Orcs will be fine. Like, obviously, the main concern here is the artillery. Like the organ guns and the flame cannons, but depending on the map, it should probably be fine. They're all going to be back here, like hitting the walls and stuff. I could put the shaman in here, maybe. Already leveled up the orc biggins, so I don't know what I'd get rid of. Great and powerful war boss. I think I'm just going to double team this because I'd like to have some magic just to make it a bit simpler. Again, I guess it doesn't matter if we lose forces. Don't know. We'll, we'll bring it up just in case. Let's just go in and do it. It's not like Masha needs to go anywhere else right now. Alright, in we go. It would still be a Pyrrhic victory according to the order resolve. Okay, so we'll have the Goblin Rock Lubbers over on this side uh, with our bigger beasts and all my Black Orcs and Biggins and Archers. I right, start deployment, start the battle. Get my reinforcements in. Very nice shiny Dwarven walls this time. You're going to want to take out those towers on that side. Because they are going to do a lot of damage. Okay, 
I should have another lot. There we go. Put them all on guard. Put these on guard. That just like destroy one of my catapults straight up. Almost. Yeah, actually, it did. Hammer and Gork lost one. So we've taken down that tower. Take down the other one. Those towers are beefy, they do a lot of damage. Imagine if they started shooting at this blob. That would be crazy. Alright, so we can have these do their thing. I'll, I'll leave those there to so just fire away. And now what we're going to do is charge the walls. So let's grab all of my units that are melee. Charge them up. All of my units that are ranged. Push them up. Everything that's large. Go for the gate. I'll keep these back for the time being. Off we go. Once again, the tide of green forces advances. It just looks so awesome. Just the, the mishmash of forces. Charging on. My train of trolls going for the gate. Get the artillery firing away. Oh, wow! <laughs> that was a big hit. That was a big, big hit. All right. In we go. Get in there, dudes. And when you're in, we're gonna put a gork this. Let's see, we'll start bunching up a bit more. Let's do one here, we'll do one, another one on the other side in a bit. The night goblins firing away, the orc archers firing away. I'll oh, use that on the plane to lower his melee defense so we can get some more damage on him. Well, that's not very good, is it? Go and attack those iron breakers. Just get off that wall and attack the iron breakers there. Yeah, the flame cannons and stuff are back here, so they're not actually doing that much damage. Usually they probably do quite a lot. But in this map, you've got this big old building here. I really don't get why this map's designed this way, but... Oh well. All the trolls there just like brushing it off. Like it's nothing. Yeah, 
Guess we're fit to go up those iron breakers. Going to blow back some of the black orcs, but should allow us to get some easier kills on those units. That's war. I can bring in my lava spider rider archers. Maybe I can get them around the back and into the artillery. Help us finish the uh, finish the battle a little quicker. Bring up the trolls, we'll get them to charge to the center. The Night Goblin and the Orc War boss. Just both get in there. He's already half health though. I mean if he took a full frontal of organ guns to the face, like that would be pretty bad. I'm gonna push through to these organ guns on the other side. Because we don't want it to fire at us. All right, they're running away. That's good. They know as soon as the uh, the orc war boss lands in the center square with his wife and the the walls have fallen. Time to go, lads. <laughs> All right. Yeah, not too bad in the end. I probably could have done that with just Ashuk. I just uh, wanted to double doubly be sure about that artillery because that could have gone pretty bad otherwise also without the magic I think the iron breakers would have been a lot harder to kill or would have just taken like a, a lot longer to kill them so that speeds up too alright we'll occupy that could sack it for 111,000 but we're making that each turn so don't need it it's good that Asher got the uh, extra campaign map movement range, that's really nice. And hopefully, oh, I was going to say, hopefully there's like a shaman building here and I could build a shaman. I can't get one. That sucks. We'll start putting one in. I'll upgrade that. We'll take this out. Keep the workshop. We need to put the walls in. And... Other than that, probably the raiding camp or the troll cave. We can put the troll cave in there actually. Uh, let's just keep this sacred spider ground. Fine. We took this at level 5, so that's actually really good. Let's get Scarred Veteran maxed out for him. And Mash's Orc Shaman leveled up. I'll just max out, here we go. Okay, so with that done, we've taken out all of the dwarves from the mountains here. Just need to finish off these ones further down. So Masha can just march down here. Right, Unassigned skill point on this goblin big boss. One's a specialist. That's fine. Uh, so Mash has moved over Elbog, Ashuk, Mash Beard Taker. Right, Mash is moving up to encamp over here. And then we have Snorko, who is recruiting. Skunk, who's moved. Logoth's moved. Vicious has moved. Morglum's moved. Over to Slagger Beard Taker. All right, time to wipe out this army. No, Gracie, never wrong. They could upgrade these quick for the battle. Just do combat skin sex, I think. All right, more lightning strike and jump on in. Been a while since I uh, played a battle against Skaven, but yeah, this army, it's okay. The artillery is going to suck, but I'll probably just have my trolls stand on the flanks and run around the edge and engage the artillery directly. Uh, we'll probably be able to just vanguard the ploy right up in their face. 
Well, let's do that. It does leave my trolls behind, but I don't really mind. Uh, the warp fire throws here. Don't really want my night goblins to be the ones to engage them in the front. Okay, we're going to put these on the flank here. Let's get these trolls into a group so I remember to move them forwards. I'll make sure that these are forwards as well. Okay, start deployment, start the battle. Oh, John in. Get the trolls forwards, get my leader forwards. Yeah, we want to hit the Ragas here. That's like the most important target. In my dudes on the front there. My poor gobbos. Let's get these into the engagement. All my trolls are here bashing away, so that's good. Oh, those have been forced off. And those wall fire throws actually doing a lot of damage for once. I'll probably try and take out those poison wind globadiers. sure if that's going to do much damage to the war fire throwers. Hmm. Seemed to do quite a lot of health damage but didn't actually kill very many models. In melee we'll, we'll finish him off. Keep pushing him off. Will we kill the Doom Wheel? No. So we're probably going to have to hunt them down and attack them again. I think having the Vanguard deployment there kind of saves us from a certain amount of damage from the artillery. But at the same time, like not having the trolls to back up the infantry did mean that they got melted pretty fast. But this will be another faction out of the way. Another second saved with every end turn. We'll take the replenishment and attack them again. Great. That's those dealt with. We'll grab that treasure. I'll perform better in battle. Mathlan's blessing. I'll take it. That's 25% physical resistance for these. Wow, with that bonus, they're up to 57% physical resistance. Nasty magic. Gross. 
All right, let's just get out of attrition. What do you want? Okay, so with that done, unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. I'm gonna leave it here. In the next episode, uh, we'll finish off the rest of our turn. Hopefully, make more ground in the process. That's it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah,